friends, what is up today? I hope you guys are having a great Monday. In today's video, I'm going to be answering one of my most asked questions, which is how I make my thumbnails. And honestly, it's really easy. It just involves a couple of apps, which are free, mostly. Yeah, they're all free. So let's just get on with the video. So the first thing you need to do is pick the thumbnail that you want. This is just a picture I took at in and out in California, so hypothetically this video is a California vlog even though it's not. And the first thing that you're going to need to do is properly scale the picture, which is 2540 by 1440, which is like the standard size for the YouTube thumbnail. The way I scale my pictures is through PicMonkey, which is free, and I basically just put in the dimensions, which I already have preset, and then I insert the photo. Once I am done scaling the photo, then I'm going to open Visco where I do the filtering of the picture. Once you're on Visco, then I put in the like preset of A4, turn the contrast up to 2, also turn the sharpness up to 2, turn the saturation up to 1, then go to white balance and turn the temperature and tint all the way up. And finally, turn the exposure up just a tad. Once you've saved your photo, then you're going to download the app PixArt to make the text part of the thumbnail. So what I like to do for the text in the thumbnail is have the same font except one word that's different. So the font that I use is called Just Another Hand. In order to make the font look cooler, what I do is I change the stroke and I make it black and I turn it up to 30. And then I go to shadows and turn the blur to 30 and the opacity to 50. And for one of the words in the thumbnail, I always make it look cooler by adding a little sticker in the background and using a different font. And for the different font, I use Malaysian Circa or something like that, but I keep like the opacity and the shading all the same. And then I just add some stickers or some emojis just to make it look a little bit better. And then you're done. It's super easy and it looks decently not terrible. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this may or may not help you learn how to make your thumbnails. If not, then sorry. But if it does, let me know in the comments and let me know other apps you use to either edit photos or edit your thumbnails. Just tell me something interesting in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching!